Uh, what's there to do today? Maybe I should work on a new job video. Or maybe I should get narrator to work on a new job video and take all the credit for it. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Miss Assistant. How's it going? <laughs> oh, uh. Any chance you've seen narrator around? I kind of want to work on a job video today. He's in training? Oh, that means I have to work in this video by myself. Wonder if Hikari and her sisters can help me out. I better get ready. Thanks, Miss Assistant. Let's get the show started, shall we? This is the Samurai, the lethal Far Eastern warrior of legends and myths. First appearing in Final Fantasy V, the Samurai has only made sporadic appearances in the main titles of the Final Fantasy series. Having made its triumphant return in Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, the Samurai has become a truly terrifying and lethal adversary to all its foes. If you wish to become a Samurai, you must first attain level 50 in any of the Disciple of War or Magic jobs. Once this is done, you should seek out this Olden citizen, who is just southeast of Olda's Aetherite Plaza. Speaking with him will lead you on a quest to meet this Far Eastern Elder, Master Musosai, who will give you your starting set of samurai garments and your first katana. Let's go over the samurai's main mechanics, starting with the first one that's available to you, the Sen Effects and the Sen Gauge. The Sen Gauge displays the three different Sen Effects you can accumulate during combat. These three effects are Setsu on top, Getsu on the left, and Ka on the right. Each of these three effects can be obtained by performing specific combos. Setsu is gained by attacking with Hakaze and following up with Yukikaze, an attack that also lowers the target's slashing resistance by 10% for 30 seconds. Getsu is gained by using Hakaze, followed by Jinpu, which also grants you a 10% damage increase effect for 30 seconds, and finishing off with Gekko. Alternatively, you can gain Getsu by using Fuga, a frontal cone area of effect attack, followed by Mangetsu, an AoE attack that damages all nearby enemies. Finally, Ka is gained by using Hakaze, followed by Shifu, which increases your attack rate as an added effect for 30 seconds, and ending with Kasha. Like Getsu, Ka can also be gained by using an AoE combo, starting again with Fuga, and finishing off with Oka, another AoE that attacks all nearby enemies. These three Sen effects affect the behavior of the weapon skill EI Jutsu, depending on how many of the Sen effects are currently active. With a single Sen effect, EI Jutsu becomes Higanbana, a potent attack that not only does decent damage, but also applies a damage over time effect to the target for one whole minute. With two Sen effects active, EI Jutsu becomes Tenka Gouken, a cone-shaped frontal AoE attack great for damaging multiple enemies at a time. Finally, with three Sen effects active, Iajutsu becomes Midare Setsugeka, a charged attack that deals an incredible amount of damage. Next, let's look at the samurai's other job gauge, the Kenki Gauge. Kenki is a resource that is generated primarily by performing certain weapon skills. At level 62, with the Kenki Mastery 2 trait, all weapon skills excluding Iajutsu skills generate Kenki. Alternatively, by using the Hagakure ability, any active Setsu, Getsu, and Ka effects are converted into Kenki, with each effect increasing the Kenki gauge by 20 points. One last way Kenki can be generated outside of weapon skills is through the Meditate ability, which gradually increases the Kenki gauge for 15 seconds. This effect only works when in combat. Kenki is used as a resource for the following skills. Hisatsu Kaiten, gained at level 52, increases the potency of the next weapon skill used by 50%. This is best to use for the EI Jutsu skills. Hisatsu Gyoten, a level 54 ability, is a gap-closing attack with a 10-second cooldown. Hisatsu Yaten, learned at level 56, is an attack followed by a Temyom backstep, which also has a 10-second cooldown. 
Hisatsu Yaten also grants the Enhanced NP effect, which affects the ranged weapon skill NP, tripling its potency. Hisatsu Seigan is a potent counter-attack that can only be executed under the Open Eyes effect. This effect is granted when the samurai takes damage while under the effect of Third Eye, an ability that grants 10% damage reduction to the samurai. The Open Eyes effect also allows the use of Merciful Eyes, a self-heal that also reduces enmity. Back to the other Kenki skills, Hisat Shinten is an attack that deals good damage. It's great to use when there are no other skills to use Kenki on. Hisat's Q10, gained at level 64, is an AoE attack that damages all nearby enemies. Unlike the Samurai's other AoE skills, Hisat's Q10 suffers no reduction in damage with the more enemies it hits. Finally, Hisat's Guren, learned at level 70, is a powerful frontal line AoE attack. Like the Samurai's other AoE attacks, apart from Hisat's Q10, Hisat's Guren's potency also gets reduced after each enemy it hits. Anyway, now I will go over the level 70 opening rotation I personally use. I will first give a demonstration of it and will follow up with a detailed explanation of what I did. Okay, here I go. Okay, <laughs> time to explain what I did. I start off with a Ka combo, starting with Hakaze. I follow up with Shifu, which increases my attack speed. Next is Kasha, which gives me my first Sen effect. I then go for the Getsu combo, starting with Hakaze. Jinpu is next, which increases my damage. I follow up with Gekko, which gives me my second Sen effect. I weave in Make Yoshi Sweet to let me gain Sen effects without having to use any combos. I double weave in Hisatsu Shinten just to deal extra damage. I then hit Yukikaze, which gives me my third Sen effect thanks to my Make Yoshi Sweet buff. I weave in Hagakure to convert my three Sen effects into Kenki. I double weave in Hisatsu Guren right after to deal heavy damage. I follow up with Gekko to get one Sen effect. I weave in Hisatsu Kaiten to make my next weapon skill attack stronger. Next, I use up my 1 Sen effect on Higanbana for some really good damage over time. I attack with Gekko again to get another Sen effect, giving me 1 total. I weave in Hisatsu Shinten to deal more damage. I go to my Ka combo again with Hakaze, Shifu, and Kasha. I weave in another Hisatsu Shinten for more damage. I next go for my Setsu combo with Hakaze and Yukikaze. I weave in Hisatsu Kaiten right after Yukikaze to prepare my final weapon skill in my opener. I finally finish my opener with Midaru Setsugeka, dealing massive damage to my enemy. Hey y'all and thanks for watching this video! Hopefully you enjoyed it! If you did, please hit that thumbs up button! Also please consider subscribing to support this channel. Your support would be very much appreciated. Click that bell icon as well to be part of my notification squad. Thank you again for watching and as always, take care! See you next time!